you really piss off. <laughs> I'm going to tell them you were driving and I gotta have, I'm having a heart attack, so take me <laughs> yeah. to the hospital. What's up, TRC fans? Don't miss our annual Street Kings event at its new location, Bradington Motorsports Park, on December 11th. Hi, my name's Mike. The thing behind me there is my 2013 Subaru Forester. And currently it has a 6.2 LSA supercharged motor and an L90E six-speed Cadillac transmission. take a ride in the CTS V swapped Forester for a Subaru Forester it's just it's so crazy to ride in something that's you know CTS V swapped like this yeah it's a lot more fun to drive it yeah, too I bet. <laughs> we do have a little surprise though oh okay <laughs> feels really good yeah no, it feels really good yeah <laughs> Do you enjoy the car in the form that it sits now, or do you wish you had the the old turbo swap? No, I, I like the car the way it is. Uh, when it was stock, it was getting about 20 miles to the gallon. Now it only gets about 11, but you know what? Yeah. If you're gonna play, you gotta pay, so. The overall power, I mean, do you plan on going to, you know, like, I, I know you're gonna do smaller pulley, but what's the final goal power-wise? Probably around 700, around seven. primarily because of the drivetrain concerns. Wow. Yeah. And it drives really nice. Yeah, it's my daily driver. I take it to the grocery store and do all yeah. that other <laughs> stuff with it. So it's, yeah, I enjoy it. I really do. Well, everything on it is uh, still factory, you know, all the interior and everything. So. Are you guys trying to run this at the track at all? Do you guys have any times that you want to run? Yeah, we're going to run it uh, this coming Friday. Oh, okay. 17. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we'll see how it does. We've got one fellow that uh, was there at the shop with his Camaro, and he says, I'll see you there. We got a race. I said, Sounds good to me. That's awesome. And does this thing hook up pretty well? Well, it does for the most part, but uh, I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> we got six, I got 6,000 miles on it since we put the motor in. Wow. You've been driving this thing everywhere. Oh, yeah. It's my daily driver. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's not too bad of a trade-off. My truck only gets 20 ga 20 miles in the gallon, yeah. so, you know. You run across anything on the street that you've raced? I had a fella in a black Camaro. It was a brand new and really beautiful car. He came up behind me, and it was like four lanes there open. You see the front end of the car lift up, and he was going to zoom by me, and, you know, come behind me and then zip around and take off. Yeah. And I said, well, that ain't going to work for me, so I went ahead and nailed it, and the next thing I knew, it looked like somebody had parked <laughs> him on the side of the road. Oh. He was not happy. <laughs> How was that? Well, it feels good. Yeah, it hooks up pretty good. I mean, we got a little squirrely, but nothing too crazy. I mean, no. it, it hooked really good. And that supercharger, you just hear that whine. Yeah, it comes I up. I love it. Just that instant torque and power is uh, is awesome. And what I like about it is it just keeps coming on. Yeah, you know? yeah, keeps pulling. How much does this weigh? Thirty-eight eighty. Oh, so is it? Uh, it's lighter than a stock CTSV, I would assume, right? Well, I think a CTSV. I'm not sure. I think it's a little around four thousand pounds or something oh, like okay. that. starting to walk a little bit. On I know, once we get to those higher speeds, you can feel it. I go to jail, I'm going to be really pissed.
this. Well, I'm going to tell him you were driving and I got a, I'm having a heart attack, so take me <laughs> yeah. to the hospital. I'm the old guy. That'd be a great excuse. Okay guys, I'm about to hop in the CTSV slot Forester. I'm going to take a ride with Jeremy. He is the owner of Black Market Racing. He's the one who actually built the car. Uh, so he's a little more familiar with driving the car and getting a little rowdy. So it should be a good time. Did he have the uh, cutouts open yesterday or no? The cutouts open. Holy crap! Yeah, it doesn't sound like a Subaru anymore. It does not sound like a Subaru anymore. Man, this thing lights them up really well. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Mike wasn't sure we were gonna get a lot of smoke, but dude, they they lit up nice. Good from a dig. It does. It hooks really good. Yeah, after we change the tires in the rear, it hooks a lot better. Yeah. Hi, my name's Mike. The thing behind me there is my 2013 Subaru Forester. We've done a big build on it here at Black Market Racing. Currently it has a 6.2 LSA supercharged motor and an L90E six-speed Cadillac transmission. I bought the car brand new and I was coming back and a fella came up behind me. He was driving a, I think it was about a 68 Dodge Charger. Well, I looked in the mirror and all of a sudden I see this uh, charger start to lift up in the front. He nailed it. And I thought, no, that ain't happening. So I put my foot into the SUBI, the little TDO Ford just come on. And away we went and he was left behind, surprisingly. I thought he had more. And he was also very pissed off. So that's, that's what started it. And so I started calling around and told him I'm an old guy and I got a old for or a Forester I bought. I want to make it go a little faster. And every one of them said, yeah, we'll get back to you, we'll get back to you. And the only ones that said anything that was encouraging was when I talked to Jeremy. He says, well, we can't make any promises. He says, but bring it up here and we'll take a look at it and see what we can do. So I did, and that's when it started. It's been almost five years ago. I'll be honest with you. You know, I looked around and I could have bought a new vet or a new whatever. And I decided everybody's got one of those. I wanted something that was different and something that was unusual and something that was me. I've had a lot of people come up to me and they just look and go, that's not a Subaru, what he got in that? And it's like, oh, it's got a little 6.2 Cadillac LSA motor and they just about, no. And then I open up the hood and they go, how did you hide it? So we didn't have to, it fit perfect. So they are surprised though. They are surprised. But if you measure, which I did when both motor and transmissions were out of the car, the uh, 2.5 with the, the six-speed STI transmission was a half inch shorter than the Cadillac all the way from the front counterbalance pulley all the way to the end of its tail shaft on the transmission. There was a half an inch difference. The uh, LS motor is a lot narrower compared to the Boxer motor, so it's really really a lot easier to work on because everything is right there. We had to modify a little bit of the internal tunnel underneath there 
where the back of the transmission goes, but it was really not any cutting up or anything like you see on uh, some TV programs, believe it or not. Well, when we first started out, when I started getting together with the folks here at Black Market Racing, I came in, it had a original 2.5 TD4 turboed with an automatic transmission. Well, we went through that little thing and progressed to a full build on the 2.5 motor. It was good for about 800 horsepower and we switched everything over, pulled the automatic out of it and went ahead and put in the uh, six speed out of the uh, STI and the uh, R180 rear end out of the STI. But we found with the power, we were snapping axles left and right. So we wound up going with a 1,000 horsepower driveline and 800 horsepower axles all the way around it. Uh, cars tuned right now on just on 91. We did run some uh, E85 in it for a while, but just playing with it and it's gonna go up, but it's running pretty close to 600 horsepower as it is. We've got two small fans on it. It still has the original Mishimoto radiator in it that we put in when we went to the, uh, the built motor because of heating problems. It has a Dakota digital dash that is really cool. It's all programmable and quite a piece of little machinery. You can actually do some programming with the app off of your phone. Well, it has coilovers all the way around it and uh, those have come in handy because we did change the tire size in the back and I was able to lift the car up about probably an inch so that those tires would fit without rubbing anything. Well, when we first got the motor, it came in uh, from a place we got it back east, and they were real good, and I'm sorry I can't remember the name of the company, but uh, they were really willing to work with us. And apparently what had happened was the, uh, the top intake and everything was on the car, and somehow they got water, or water got down inside the motor. And when we initially got it and tried to roll it over just to see what it was like, you know, make sure everything was okay. It had uh, water in about three of the cylinders. So we talk with them and we work with them and uh, wound up sending the motor down to Tucson. They did an excellent job. We canned it, put in the big ARP head studs, rings, valves, springs, just a complete motor rebuilt. Everything's brand new in it. The motor itself is actually good for a thousand horsepower because it has uh, Headman headers on it and uh, Austin had to do quite a bit of fab work to be able to get those little guys in there so that they would not be hanging out the bottom or whatever, and he did a lot of really nice custom fab work on it when he put it together. Oh, it's just, this is a monster. It, it's a lot of fun to drive, because with the turbo, you know, with the, the four banger, with the two five, even though it was built for a lot of power, it kind of dives off when you get over a certain RPM. This thing keeps climbing because of the fact that it's a V8 and the way it's built. You know, that torque curve doesn't drop and that power doesn't drop. So I imagine probably by the time we get done, it'll probably be pretty close to seven. We'll see, we'll see.